these two houses are also from those Americanos. They were built more or less at the same time, end of 19th uh, century, with just two years difference. But as you, as you can appreciate, the style of the houses is completely different. Mm -hmm. This house, this is modern. This is what we call modern style, right? You can see a lot of <coughs> houses similar to this one in Barcelona. For example, in Paseta one is just the opposite of what this architect, right, with the modernist style, wanted to achieve in the house. You see the house has straight lines, it is completely symmetric, with neoclassical elements, right? So this house was more similar to the style of houses these people, these Americanos, left in the colony. So the house reminded of the, of the house they used uh, to have there. But in any case, both houses had the same structure, the same uh, distribution. I mentioned before, all of them had a garden. The, the garden of this house is over there. The garden of this house is over there. We're just going to, to pass it in, in a while. But all of them had three floors, three stores. And with the same distribution. The ground floor was for the family business. Uh, watch out. It's uh, the Dakar wants to do. So the ground floor was for the family business. For example, the owner of this house made his money, his fortune, thanks to the rum business. He was a very close friend of Facundo Bacardi, the owner of Bacardi Rum. I'm sure you've heard of Bacardi Rum. Okay. Uh, Facundo Bacardi was born in Sitges. He left when he was 15. He went to Cuba, and after several years, he started with the rum business, which uh, made him rich. But we don't consider Bacardi Bacardi, an Americano, because he never came back. Well, he came back for visit, and but he stayed uh, for a couple Bacarica. of years, but then he went back to, uh, to Cuba. Mm -hmm. So he didn't stay here, he didn't build a house like this uh, one to spend the, the, the rest of his life. He, he died in, in, in Cuba. Mm -hmm. So, ground floor family business. The first floor was for the family to live in. It was usually very nice with a lot of decoration. And uh, it always had a balcony, usually closed balcony, like this one or the, the one of uh, the, the first house. And the biggest this balcony was, the more taxes the family had to pay. Right? So this was also a way to show off that the family had a lot of money, right? the size of the balcony. And last floor, uh, you won't see it very well in this house, but it's perfect. That Take a look at the difference in height between the, the two floors and the last floor, right? So it was usually very, very short and very simple in decoration. I'm sure you can guess why, because it was for the servants, right? So no luxury for them. Questions? Let's continue.